Astrotometry Log. It is Thursday, January 28th, 2010. It's approximately 2215 UTC. This is a video discussing the recent swarm of earthquakes in the Yellowstone caldera. The swarm started shortly after the Haiti quake on the 12th. On the 17th, uh, around 1 p.m. Mountain Standard Time. There have been 1,497 quakes, almost 1,500 quakes since that time, and the largest of those quakes was about 3.8 in magnitude. What I consider to be the odd thing about both of these events is that the earthquakes were more or less in a very, very tight group. They were bunched together, and the Haiti quake uh, was was the same was the same way, and if you look at the depth of the events in Haiti, um, they're almost all ten kilometers deep, and there have been a lot of earthquakes recently that have been almost exactly uh, ten kilometers deep, which is fairly unusual um, that we would see all of the aftershocks at exactly the same depth. And the same thing is more or less true with the pattern in the Yellowstone quakes. Almost all of them are between 14 and 16 kilometers, most of them 14, 15 or 16 kilometers deep. And if you look at the large quakes, um, or if you try to just sort out the ones that are in a different area, you find that the ones that are in a different area are the ones that aren't the, the 15 and 16 kilometer quakes. And if you consider the difference in the altitude, the difference in a, a sea level of Haiti versus uh, Yellowstone, that might give us an indication of the hypersymmetry, uh, the potential events that have been happening celestial recent, celestially recently that I am going to be discussing in the next video. But for now, um, let's look at the area that is probably hypersymmetric with the Yellowstone caldera. If this is activity that's upcoming in the Yellowstone caldera, there could be additional quake activity. This is the most recent EIT 171 angstrom image from the SOHO EIT instrument. And this is activity that's going to be happening basically in the next week. And none of these none of these events are going to be very large. But if this is the Yellowstone caldera, if some of these are in the Yellowstone caldera, which they may not be, um, we could see quakes. I would say as large as five, maybe 5.5. Definitely not above 5.5. Not from what I've seen so far in the next week. And so no major earthquakes. I don't think in that area. But the seismic activity may increase. The difficulty in predicting this time of year has to do with the tilt of the Earth on its axis. During the equatorial periods, um, during the equinoxes, the interplanetary magnetic field is more or less parallel with the Sun. And so the interactions of the fields don't change uh, during the day. And this time of year, near the solstices, the position of the hypersymmetric coronal hole depends on what time of day the earthquake happens or indicates is indicated by where the earth is going to be when the geomagnetic um, the, the hypersymmetric geomagnetic activity manifests and so this could be another aftershock in Haiti this 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 hole right here um, these could be these could be Haiti aftershocks or it could be activity in the caldera now if you look how far north this goes. If this is the same area that's shaking at different times of day, um, that would put it about this latitude, which would be um, sort of in the area of of the uh, caldera. So we might see some four, two, two, five earthquakes in the Yellowstone caldera, but nothing, nothing major according to astrotometry. And again, this is an this is a highly experimental product. This is not suitable for emergency management, but I have invited some, some people who are uh, working for the emergency management um, and um, USGS into, into the 
into the astrotometry channel and I encourage you to ask questions if you have any questions um, we need good uh, information because I'm very concerned um, that these very large quakes are actually going to be more of a problem in the next few years that's what uh, the core weather model indicates with the solar cycle being off with solar cycle 24 being off um, I'm suspecting that there's going to be some some changes in the um, the Earth's crust because of those uh, because of that those differences in energetic uh, forms. These here again uh, the the uh, upcoming um, events are not. This is the the uh, um, lower angstrom. The the event is not going to be uh, very significant. I don't think because these holes just just simply aren't that deep. They don't continue into the into the other bands. So if you have comments or questions that are of technical nature, um, please leave them, um, and I'll try to answer them as time permits.